I get a lot of questions. And I have them all just like stored in my brain, ready to answer eventually. Um, when I have the time, which is now. So one question that I get a lot is, um, because I meet a lot of people from a lot of different countries who speak a lot of different languages, and I'll say something or I'll make a comment on their language or their, their accent or something, and they'll be a little bit taken aback that I would know that about their language. Um, not always, because I mean, a lot of people have a lot of, you know, small bits and pieces of other languages like bonjour or hola, of, of course. Cerveza. <laughs> Who doesn't know that one? Um, but sometimes it's languages that people wouldn't, you know, normally look into or know very much about. And so one question that I got asked I don't know, three or four days ago or that I get asked frequently is how many languages do you know and how many do you speak? And I think I never know how to answer that because I think when people ask you that, they expect that that you know a whole hell of a lot or you know, enough to have like a decent conversation, maybe not university level, but I could like walk down the street in the country and not have a problem. And I, I don't think that's much of a thing for me. I'm sure I'd probably still have a lot of problems. Um, the short answer is I have absolutely no idea. I know bits and pieces at varying degrees in a lot of different languages. Um, my next most fluent after English is probably German. That doesn't mean that I can sit down and have a university level conversation with you, although I probably understand quite a bit. I could probably talk back a bit. Haven't done that in a long time, but I mean, give me a week of practice and it'd probably come back a bit. Um, and after that, probably Spanish, some French, Korean, some Japanese, a little bit of Hebrew, a little bit of Mandarin, um, and then bits of bits and pieces of most of, of those languages. So like in Japanese, I, I know one of the alphabets and like, I understand something about the construction of their language and the way it sounds and how they, how they use, um, how they use their, their tongue and their teeth and whatever to form letters. Um, I can't always do all of them, but I can, I can understand how they're created. Um, what else? I know there are a few others. So like, like Swahili, there was a little bit in Swahili and, um, a little bit of Arabic sentence structure. There's, I find languages fascinating. So if I find a language, I may learn something and I may go, Oh, I love that. I want to apply it to Madovna somehow. Maybe if it works only if it fits, I don't just like take pieces of languages and be like, here, there you go. A little mishmash of languages here. Madovna. That's not how it works. Um, it, whatever I, I look at, I actually scoured a lot of languages, language books and, and grammar systems and things to find things that would make sense to the language, not to put the language together necessarily. If it, and I would like try them out and if they didn't fit, they didn't fit. So how many languages do I know? I have no clue. I, I know how to communicate in English. I'm pretty, pretty darn good at English. And I'm pretty okay at German. Uh, I guess that's the answer. How many languages do you know? And when someone asks you that question, how do you answer? Um, yeah, I have not much more to say. So um, tell me in the comments, how many languages do you know? How would you answer that question? And if you have any more questions, also leave them in the comments. Ciao.